During the recent Investor Meeting 2022, Intel showcased its upcoming 13th gen desktop CPU codenamed Raptor Lake. I think that it is a good time to compile all the official as well as leaked information into one easily digestible video to let you know what to expect from the next generation of Intel processors. I will cover the 13th gen specs, release date, performance and more. But before that, a quick message from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 license for less at cdkoffers.com using the link in the description below. Use code IV20 for an additional 20% off and safely check out with PayPal for instant delivery. So, as I mentioned, during the Investor Meeting 2022, Intel demonstrated what I believe is the i9-13900K processor that features 24 cores and 32 threads. That is 8 P cores and 16 E cores. It is a large increase in the total core count over the previous generation. For comparison, the current flagship desktop CPU, i9-12900K, has 16 cores and 24 threads, consisting of 8 P cores and 8 E cores. With 13th gen, Intel are targeting professionals who need a lot of multi-threading performance to multitask. They made it clear by using Blender and Adobe After Effects simultaneously during the demonstration. What is worth pointing out is how this CPU distributed the workloads between so many cores. When you start rendering something and minimize the app, the workload continues using only E cores, freeing up P cores so that they are ready to handle other tasks you may want to throw at your PC. Basically, you can comfortably render something in the background and play any game without an impact on the FPS or open a second CPU demanding up to do more work. Intel 13th gen CPUs will also have an improved memory controller that supports DDR5-5600 speed as standard. A decent improvement compared to the current DDR5-4800. Additionally, DDR4 support remains. So, expect the next Gen 700 series motherboards to come in both DDR4 and DDR5 flavors. Other than that, 13th Gen processors will share a lot of features with the current 12th Gen, such as PCIe 5.0, same integrated graphics and LGA 1700 socket which means that if you already own a 600 series motherboard, then you will be able to upgrade to a 13th gen CPU without buying a new one. The new processor will be manufactured using the existing Intel 7 fabrication node, same as 12th gen. The better Intel 4 node is expected to debut next year with the release of 14th gen Meteor Lake processors, which will heavily focus on mobile, but desktop options are expected to launch as well. That brings us to the release date of Intel 13th Gen CPUs. According to the latest leaks, we should expect the launch to happen in late quarter 3 this year, with mobile processors launch in quarter 4. Lately, it takes Intel less than a year to release a new generation. Looks like they are working hard to regain the CPU performance superiority. Competition is always good to have. As for the performance, there are no solid numbers or official benchmarks available yet. However, the most accurate leaker I know, who goes by the name Moore's Law is Dead, says that we should expect 8 to 15% single thread and about 30 to 40% multi thread performance increase compared to the current Intel 12th gen Alder Lake processors. By the way, AMD's next gen Ryzen 7000 series desktop CPUs, based on Zen 4 micro architecture, are set to launch at around the same time as Intel's 13th gen in quarter 3, 2022. Do you think AMD will be able to overtake Intel in terms of performance once again? I left my predictions in the comments below, so join the conversation. It was I, Vadim, until next time.